Hi y'all, how are y'all doing today? Well, I hope you're having a good day. And so I am having a pretty good day, but I just wanted to go, come on here and just do a video and show you what I got in the mail. So remember how the Lord's been showing us from um, grief to relief. So a few days after I did that video, I got this in the mail. It says, National Debt Relief. Isn't that awesome? So I was like, hmm. So, whew, sorry, allergies, itchy nose. So I just wanna declare over you also from um, debt grief to debt relief. Just like, surprise, you're gonna be debt free. God is going to come through for you and all of us. So it's gonna be good. Well, mainly, um, I just wanted to come on here to do a video about those of you that have a scientific mind and those of you who are in science. Um, God has been just really highlighting science to me, and I'm hearing him say that he's going to give so like the field of science a facelift, and so I'm very excited about that because he's also been highlighting to me um, Albert Einstein and the word genius and he has shown me that there were so many different geniuses all through the years and all through the eras who God had a kingdom calling upon their lives and they fulfilled some but you know many are also in the cloud of witnesses and they're cheering all of us on and they're like we want to partner with you we want to you to carry on the work and so there are mantles of genius being released. And so, yeah, um, I just want to encourage, to encourage you to pray about that because God may have uh, an amazing invention or idea or something for you that he's ready for you to receive. So I thought that was pretty cool. But these are some of the notes I took about science. Okay, <clears throat> I saw, um, how the Lord is going to visit science in those in the field and they're gonna start to see with God's eyes and I saw science written a different way and I'll show you here now on this video okay this is how I saw science written s c e y e n c e so the Lord is giving new eyes for all of us to see that he is real and science will prove that isn't that awesome it's so awesome um i saw the holy spirit visiting scientists and physicists and all different types of people in this field and he was radically uh taking scales off of their eyes and i also saw how science is actually going to prove that God is real uh, because we're going to start seeing some things that God's going to be like listen I created everything and I even created the uh, field of science and he's going to start proving how real and true he is through that um okay I'm going to just read this. I even believe that Einstein had some hidden writings that were too radical, but will be found now for such a time as this. There's like been a covering of what true science is, but that covering's about to be removed. Um, a few days later, some confirmation was given about this. I saw that Jason Upton had posted a book he was reading on Instagram, and it was a book about Einstein. Um, I'll say this again, science is going to start proving God. So I just decree that, that science is getting a facelift and it's gonna start proving that God is real and that Jesus is real and angels and Holy Spirit. Okay, another confirmation that happened after all this science stuff that the Lord started showing me is I saw on Facebook that a Scientology facility was closed after people, um, police, I'm sorry, after police find people held in 
they were held prison inside. And the Lord showed me that those who have been held prison by a spirit of science in the field or those outside the field who believe in it, um, this assignment from the devil is about to be shut down in their lives and truth is going to be made known. So then this happened. My son was in his room. Uh, this all happened within a span of like a week, seriously. And it happened like a week ago. My son was in his room and he was drawing and I heard him saying something. So I went in there and I was like, honey, what are you saying? And he said, I'm saying scientist. And he was saying scientist over and over and over. So I thought that was crazy. And even as I'm doing this video, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, I think. <laughs> so um, I just decree in Jesus name that mosquitoes are going to go and they're not going to bite me anymore. Mosquitoes love me. It's crazy. Um, the thing with my son happened actually um, before I saw the Scientology um, building that had been, or facility that had been closed. So pretty crazy. I may have to move my studio inside. Mosquitoes. Um, okay, so after the confirmation with the Scientology facility closing and my son saying scientists over and over, a few days later, um, he wanted to watch a new show on Netflix. It was called Mr. Young. And it's all about, and he just randomly picked it, although we didn't even watch it. But the show is about a 14-year-old genius who is a high school teacher, and he wants... He has a passion to teach his students about science. And so I just decree that over you, that God has a passion to teach you about true science and how true science is going to just prove exactly who he is, that he is love and he's mercy and he has a good, good plan for you. All right. Well, I'm going to end the video here and I just want y'all to know that Jesus loves you and just call on his name anytime. and. I know that you hear his voice. You don't have to just listen to me. Um, I can be the confirmation that he wants to give you. All right, well, um, y'all have a good day. I just wanted to get this out of here. Um, I'm sorry, I just wanted to get this out here because I know that some of you are scientists and maybe you're feeling discouraged, but you know what? Big things are about to happen in the field of science. And so I am very excited. I can't wait to see what's gonna be up and coming. All right. Y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.